Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jacob. We're on the Titan 53 Off B on the Tormach. You saw what we did previously on Off A. You know what we got to do. I made custom soft draws that we bolted into our shunk vise, 0.2 deep. Now we're going to flip it over, set it in our custom made soft draws, and torque it down 40 foot pounds. Now that we have that torqued in there, I'm going to bring in my Heimer gauge to find my X0, Y0. This machine makes it super easy. This is where we're going to really highlight the setup time getting cut down. Now we're gonna bring it down for the X0, Y0, set our numbers. I did my tool heights outside of the machine with a granite block and a height gauge. Now that those are all set and ready, we're good to go. Now I'm putting in this one and a half inch stale ram face mill. RPMs are at 8,000, beat rate's gonna be at 60. We're gonna make some chips. Now that I've finished roughing, I actually had five thou axially left so I can come back with a nice slow finish pass. That feed rate's gonna be 30 inches a minute, RPM still at 8,000. Oh, look at that finish, yeah. Now I'm gonna be taking this one and a half inch stell ram out. We are putting a half inch bull mill in with a 60 thou radius. Let's go make some chips. Oh, look at those chips flying off there. Blasting that coolant on it, getting after it. Now you'll notice we're moving towards the center of our part. As we work our way up, you'll notice we're cutting a 3D surface. These steps are gonna be perfect for when we come back later and finish it. We're gonna be leaving 5,000 axial and radially so we can come back and kiss the baby. Now that we've finished roughing, our tool is moving down to our floor. RPM's gonna change to 6,000, feed rate's going to 40 inches a minute. It sounds beautiful and it's looking great. Now that we've reached the top of that mountain, we're gonna start ball tracking. RPM's at 8,000, feed rate at 70. Those chips are looking good. As we're reaching the bottom of our floor, you'll see that our part has that same radius on the bottom. So now I've put in my quarter three foot flat end mill. I'm just gonna machine some counter bores side of my part. I have four on the outside. My RPMs are gonna drop down to 6,500. Feed rate's gonna be at 30 inches a minute. Radials, 0.25, axials, 25 thousandths. We're gonna be using that feed and speed for our finishing pass as well. Those chips are looking good. We've just finished the two inside bores. Now we're moving out to the outside. RPM's gonna stay at 6,500. Feed rate's dropping to 25 inches a minute. Stock to leave is gonna be 5,000 radial and axial. We're gonna move in with the finishing pass, same feeds and speeds, make it look perfect. Now I've put in my quarter four flute RV1 ball mill. RPM's gonna drop down to 6,000. Feed rate's going to 25. We're slotting with a radial of 0.25. Axial's gonna be 0 0.055.
we're leaving five thou axial and radial like always when we come back with that finished pass Now that that slotting's done, we're gonna move in with our half inch chamfer mill. We're gonna hit those outside chamfers at 8,000 RPM, 40 inches a minute, 0.23 axial cut. And we're gonna work it all the way around, get those chips off of there, leave a nice smooth surface. Looks good. Almost done, one more to go. This is our last tool. We're dropping in with a quarter go drill. RPM 6,000, feed rate's at 20. We had to turn that coolant back on. We wanna make sure we're safe while we're drilling these holes because we're just gonna be doing a G81 straight through, no peck. Still sounds good. That was the last tool. Now we can see how it came out. Oh, it's looking great, it's looking great. All those finishing passes really did their job. I love how this machine keeps the tolerances too. We're hitting them. I love that when it came to doing the feeds and speeds for my roughing and my finishing, I had to find this sweet spot for the machine where it really worked with that torque and that low horsepower to give me these beautiful chips just flying off of my part. Another thing that surprised me is the fact that you can get this machine in your garage. You can make this part with me. You can keep the tolerances I did. You can find your own feeds and speeds. You can make it happen. You don't have to work in a machine shop. You don't have to own your own company to make these parts anymore. You can make it happen with the Academy and that Tormach. Something else that's awesome that you only get to see on a lot of machines is that the Tormach simulator actually follows your tool path while you're running your part. And I love to see that. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for the Tyan 53 on the Tormach. Hope you guys had fun. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment for us. Tell us what you guys want to see on the Tormach.